Madam Speaker, the Democratic bill is silent on the root cause of the financial collapse. It was the government-sponsored enterprises, Fannie and Freddie, that were at the heart of the housing market and largely responsible for the proliferation of subprime and Altaid mortgages throughout the financial system. And over the years, they loaded up on over $1 trillion worth of these junk loans. Frankly, if Fannie and Freddie also infected capital markets and spread through every sector of our banking system, before the bursting of the housing bubble, GSE securities constituted more than 150 percent of core capital for insured banks. More than 40 percent of money market mutual fund holdings were in the form of GSE securities. That is why Senator Chuck Hagel offered legislation for stronger regulation, which passed the Senate Banking Committee on a party line vote, but was blocked by the Senate Democrats from coming to the floor. My amendment was also defeated. The affordable housing goals were put in by the Democratic-controlled Congress. They mandated it in 1992. These affordable housing goals led the GSEs into the subprime and Altay market, ultimately led to their collapse. Former President Bill Clinton understands this epic blunder. He said, I think the responsibility that the Democrats have may rest more in resisting any efforts by Republicans in the Congress or by me when I was president to put some standards and tighten up a little on Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. Let it be clear, this is the main reason why our economy is where it is today, and this is why we must reform the GSEs. Instead, the Democrats keep them in conservatorship, bail them out forever in their legislation. The Republicans, on the other hand, in bailouts, and the Republicans also reform the GSEs. I yield back the balance of my time. The gentleman yields. The gentleman.